everyone, I'm Lisa Summerscales, and welcome to Video Game Purgatory, the show that takes a hard look at video games and says, ooh, fun, or ew, no, or meh, meh. There's a lot of options. Today's episode takes us through the most terrifying glitches in gaming. I mean, so far. We'll never stop making games, and presumably we'll never stop kind of screwing up on them. So there likely will never be a shortage of more nightmare fodder in the great games to come. Right now, we'll be focusing only on the glitches. DayZ is an open world survival game where you have to wander around the post apocalypse, searching for water and weapons and anything else that fulfills your basic survival needs. The enemies in this game are supposed to just be standard things you deal with in an open world multiplayer video game. Zombies and 14 year olds who are also playing the game who just wanna shoot you and teabag your corpse. And they're all certainly a part of it. But the real horror? comes from the husks of characters left behind. In most online games, when a player disconnects, their character disappears. But because of DayZ's glitch, the now brainless and soulless character husks are left behind standing around idly, which means you can come across things like this. This definitely looks like it's a glitch. Yeah, he gets to stand around bleeding forever, looking confused like someone else is being weird. And when I hit them, they just sort of like, Bend back. Chop all you want, bro, because that glitch doesn't technically register these husks as alive. And see, they're all just fucking creepy. Look at this one. It's not wearing anything. We know now that it's a soulless husk, but before that, someone had made that character do that on purpose. For some agenda, we'll never know. Yeah, yeah, I'll be with you in a second, bro. I just, I'm playing this video game right now. Dope. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing really well in Daisy. I just got my fire extinguisher. Hold on. My pants are almost completely off. Oh, wait, what? Just gotta find a good field. Surgeon Simulator 2013 is a first person surgery simulation game. I probably didn't need to explain what the game was about because the title was pretty clear. But just in case, you should also know that it came out in 2013. In general, it's a fairly standard fake surgery simulation game, but because of the awkwardness of controls and your lack of training as an actual surgeon, sometimes it leads to Gosh, to put it lightly, interactive torture porn. Whoa, nope, mm -mm, nope, nope, nope. Excuse me while I just go ahead and nope the f right on out of here. The eye can still see me. I know the eye can still see me. Why do I know the eye can still see me? Sherlock Holmes Nemesis is a PC game where you play as Sherlock Holmes and Watson as you solve mysteries. You're mostly Holmes, but you have the option to switch over to Watson because he's always by your side, like, always. Has the cat got your tongue, Watson? What? Uh, um. The game designers knew they wanted Watson to be by Sherlock's side, but they neglected to code walking into his programming. So you can look left and see Watson, and then you can turn to your right and holy sh more Watson. Watson's a faithful companion and that's great. But if you're Sherlock Holmes and you enjoy solving puzzles, why not start with the one about how Watson is a time Lord in all places at all times? Feels like a lot of your mysteries can probably just be solved with because Watson is God. Video games are about escapism, and The Sims is a game that lets you escape the drudgeries of everyday life by pretending you're a different average person whose goal is to navigate the fake drudgeries of everyday fake life. You live in a house, you have responsibilities, you go to work. No one can totally explain why, but this game is f***ing huge. One of the things you can simulate in The Sims is a family. You, a totally normal fake person, can meet a different totally normal fake person and have an ideally totally normal fake baby. But if you're unlucky enough, The Sims God will have better plans for you, and your baby will turn out looking like the kind of thing HP Lovecraft would have nightmares about if he were just a little bit darker. Ah, oh, why? That baby's first word was two words and it was kill me. That baby is terrifying. If you cover your eyes and play peekaboo, every time you uncover your eyes, the baby is suddenly just a little bit closer. When you leave it alone, that baby will just stamp its foot in Morse code, accurately predicting the dates of future plane crashes. When that baby was born, the nurses asked, is it a boy or is it a girl? And the doctor said nothing because he could only answer in spiders. What to expect when you're expecting? Covered none of this. Well, I'm grossed out forever. Join us next month for more crazy video game stuff. My name's Lisa Summerscales, and this has been Video Game in purgatory. Hey guys, thanks for watching Crack.com. Subscribe and follow below. If you want to see more of my material, you can check out my sketch team at Dirty Cues and my Instagram at LSummerScales.